Hey, 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 what's up, worship boy? G Shrimp, everybody, favorite baby daddy, the voice of the street, man. And today we in. <whistles> boop! We in Chicago, y'all. Inglewood, Southside, man. Now, let me just tell y'all this story here, man. Uh, I was just talking to my partner and we brought this shit up, man. Uh, it was these two brothers named Don Boo and the other nigga name was Pooh. Now, Don Boo is a gangster, Pooh a gangster too. But Don Boo a little more harder than Pooh Pooh. Pooh Pooh is the ladies man. He think he's a player. You know, he is a player. He, you know, he doing his thing like that, right? Now, Boo was locked up. It never fails, y'all. Boo was locked up. And uh, Pooh Pooh was running the business, right? So, uh, somehow I forgot how we met. Uh, I forgot how me and him met. This is my wife speaking to the devil, right? Because me and her actually worked this line. I forgot how we met, y'all, through somebody, right? We met through somebody, and uh, we started fucking with each other. And I, like I said, I think it was a mutual friend. Somehow, anyway, he ended up having a D-line. And uh, I had some C. I think I made a couple of moves for him on, on the uh, C side, so on the weight side. So he had the little line going, and uh, one of his guys... Yep, his guy went to jail. And he didn't have nobody to move it, right? And I said, damn, uh, ain't nobody, oh, uh, you ain't got nobody like, man, nobody I trust, man, I can't fuck with nobody, woo woo. I said, well, I don't know, I don't really want to get into that. I left it alone, y'all kept doing what I kept on doing what I'm doing. Then something happened with one of my people, they gone, locked up. I just paid the money and everything, turned my little money in, and bam, he gets snatched. Now, I ain't got nothing but a few dollars left in my pocket. What I do, I'm a hustler. I call dude, hey, Joe, you still need to get out on that? Yeah, I right, fuck it. Now, fucking with me comes with benefits, y'all. I got a car, I got my own soldiers, and my own land. So that means I can put the shit on my block or move it around. I got my own car, however, I can get it how I live, right? So, I start fucking with these niggas. We getting money. You know, we getting money. This nigga just a little gritty though, y'all. We getting money though. Ain't no thing. We moving around. Now the nigga, the first nigga went to jail, right? They get see this what happened when you sell the dope line, people call, hey man, where you at? I'm on 89th for asking. Alright, you pull up to where they at. So you go all over. So if a nigga go rob you, you got to know that go with the gang too when it comes to heroin. Now, if you in the house you can protect it, but when you're on the street, it depends. So niggas will try to stick you up. You got to pay attention. But this particular guy, he had got robbed. I'm fresh on the team, y'all. Me, one of the other guys, and some more big dogs, we up here at the liquor store just talking about something. And he said, man, here go this nigga who robbed me. Now, I just got on the team. I'm like, who? This nigga right here? Who? And right here? I'm like, who? You know what I mean? Not this nigga, I can reach out and touch who? This nigga? That's what I said. He walked. I said, This nigga here? Yeah. This the nigga? Yeah. Bang! Before I hit that motherfucker, y'all. Boop! And the nigga fell down there. I give him another one. Boop, boop, boop. And he fell down. He tried to pick his bag up. No, put that shit down, nigga. Kick that in my mess. Motherfucker. He took off running, right? So the bosses and all them, they impressed. They like, Damn. Mm. Finally, a guy with some balls on the team. I'm like, balls my ass, you finna let this motherfucker walk by you and he robbed you? And you know it? Mm. No, we finna do that. It's another guy, y'all. Same thing, but a different crew. He, he used to get robbed every other day. My other guy did too. He used to get robbed of every other day. See, the stick up man, they see you. And once they feel you sweep, they'll keep coming back. Especially if you, <laughs> and he think you scared like that. Now, that's what you're supposed to do, but don't give him all your money. But, he'll keep coming back. I had to ask the guy that I knew was getting robbed. I said, hey, dog. He said, yeah. I said, how the fuck he keep robbing you and you don't see him? He had to see you. You don't see him? I don't know. By the time I see him, uh, it be too late. Shit, all right. Well, you got to tighten that shit up. Especially if I'm going to be around. Now, I never had that problem, y'all. Because my car was tinted. So I think them not knowing who in the car, just them being mysterious, not knowing who in there. Man, I ain't gonna try it. 
Because I had the windows all the way up and let it down on my wife's side and she'll take care of them. So they didn't know if I was packing or what. So I never had no problems on that side. Police didn't fuck with us for two, three whole years, y'all. Three whole years. We get bumped one time. They bump one of the workers on the morning shift, right? Separate this and they bump him on the morning shift. He's bumping five hundred dollars. We making so much money. I go get him. We didn't even call the boss. I go get the nigga, get him out, cause I liked him because my wife worked. She was a nurse, so she need to be gone at a certain time. So I needed him to be there early, and he always on his job. That's why I went and got him. His sister was all frantic, like, "Oh, I'm glad they got him." No, they ain't paid shit. I paid that. I paid that. Mm-mm. No, I did that. So, Don Boo comes home. Now, it's two of them. They kind of like, one day he'll be doing it one day. And I can tell these niggas ain't real close like that. You know what I mean? He he talking about this one. He talking about the other one. I'm like, damn, dog. I thought y'all was going to be a team. It seemed like it was going to be a split in, in between the crews, right? Okay. So, let me tell you what happened to Poo Poo first. Greed will get you fucked up, y'all. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. Greed and being greedy will get you fucked up. Now, if you got workers, why are you still serving trying to get your hands to some shit? You can't tell me you needed the money because I was a worker and didn't need the money. So, I know damn well you didn't need the money. So, this motherfucker, when you serving like that, y'all... Niggas come, hey man, I want to get a whole jab. Cool, I can get you a jab. We getting him a jab. Now we getting, let's say, 30 off a hundred. So he would call me. He had the niggas who wanted to jab and start coming to his house, which is supposed to be headquarters, y'all. This is where the work and everything got. He ain't supposed to have no motherfucker coming over there. But he would do it, right? A couple of times, I'm thinking he just got the nigga on the block. And I come to serve him. I pull up. Yeah, he want to hold him shrimp. I'm like, all right, bam. I pull out. He, hey, shrimp. I'm like, what up? Where that 30 at? What? Where that 30? Uh, where is that? I put it in my pocket. No, I saw. I'm like, bullshit. I saw, are you serious? You finna take the money? Man, I served it. I said, but you didn't have to. You just met him, bro. I said, you really finna do that? That's some petty shit. Man, him argued about that shit quite a few times, bro. He kept doing it. (laughs) Would you believe this motherfucker turned out to be the police? The police popped his ass, y'all. This nigga got six goddamn deliveries. Six. You hear me? Six. And he had parole and all that on probation. Whatever he was on, he couldn't stand it. But... Pop his ass, he gone. You feel me? He gone. Now, Don Boo running the shit, y'all. Me and him, pretty cool. You know he's all right. We circling around. Boom. They, uh, like I said, he used to rob dude Bill. They rob one of the guys. Rob another guy. He said, Shrimp, no, they don't never rob you, huh? I'm like, no, they don't be fucking with me. I said, I don't know. I be getting lucky, y'all. So what I do, I tap a car, y'all. Now, I ain't driving. I put the shit on the block. I got Turk on the block. He is juking hard. We got shit all up and down, Maestro, y'all. It's rolling. Ain't motherfucker, the motherfucker said, they'll tell you about the dope line. We out there with motherfucker rolling, y'all. We getting money. They stretched Turk out one day, man. The motherfucker called me and said, Shrimp, they got your boy. I said, yeah, okay. They just searched. He said, Shrimp, they got every motherfucking car door open. They got the hood, the trunk. They searched that bitch, y'all. It looked like a NASCAR. The trunk opened the back door. All this shit. This is not normal, y'all. But they knew. They told him, we know you're selling for shrimp. See, when they was chasing me around, y'all, they was able to watch the car. When the car disappeared, they didn't know where I was at. I mean, they can guess and say he might be in the house, but they couldn't track me through the car. You feel me? They couldn't track me through the car. So, we let that play out for a little while. Now we got strays. We got a line that's bumping y'all, right? By us on the block. Now I got strays coming from 
every other way. So I got the little moles out there too, right? The little moles, I'm telling them because they're getting some for me. And at night, I'm letting them get out. I said, if they call that number, don't serve them. But if they didn't call, take care of them. So they getting money too. They glad, right? They getting money. So one day, uh, I'm up here with Don Boo. What happened, Don Boo? Somebody hit his motherfucking truck, y'all. He mad than the motherfucking. Not only is he mad, this nigga got a half a key in the motherfucking back and couldn't get it out. He's scared to death. You hear me? Thank God he called a tow truck, came and got that motherfucker for them people got all in his business, y'all. Before them people got in his business. So, I'm like, man, they bumped me and my wife one time, y'all. They bumped us. They had been watching us. Remember I told y'all let my daddy use the car? They was watching us, right? It's almost closing time now. Me and my wife at McDonald's up here. I think I told this part of the story one time. We at McDonald's. Dick slide up on us, stretch us out. Long story short, they find the shit. I goes to jail. What I tell dude, hey man, uh, the phone uh, getting a little hot, man. We might need to change it up. Them niggas know the number. They fucking with all my phone. We might need to change it up. Man, we ain't got to change it up. Woo. Okay, no problem. He don't want to listen. Well, I ain't working tomorrow. I didn't work no more, wife. I shut down for a minute. Would you know, like five days later, they bent on, popped the line again. They probably was looking for me, but I ain't with them no more. Nah, guess what this nigga saying? Somebody tell him. I said, oh, wasn't nobody tell him when the other guy was going to jail. Wasn't nobody tell him when such and such was going to jail. Now I go and get, get close to you. Now somebody tell him. Oh, forget the fact that we've been selling dope for the last two, three years uncontested, y'all. Uncontested, we slanging dope. Now somebody tell him. Nigga used to do that, y'all, and he was bad at that. He would use you on the street. When you go to jail, he wouldn't want to bond you out. And that's the first thing he'll say. Somebody tell him. What they got to do with you going to get your work out of jail? You cheap bastard. These motherfuckers would not want to get nobody out of jail. I can go all the way back to Shamil. She told me about these niggas. Skinny Shelly told me about these niggas. Still try to trust them and fuck with them. That was they still Come to find out. They were big time, but they were big time workers. They got the jabs and bundles and just passed it out. Oh, so, oh that's why y'all was greedy and thirsty like that. Y'all ain't even the man. You feel me? They ain't even the man. The man hollered at me, said, man, I want you on my team. I'm like, no, nah, I'm finna fade back. You know what I mean? I'm like, I, I didn't know him like that. I could have, but I'm like, man, if these niggas say I definitely ain't fucking with them. I definitely ain't fucking with them. They grabbed that nigga ass off and he went to jail. That nigga cried like a whole bitch. You hear me? Like a whole bitch. The Don. <laughs> the Don. And let me tell y'all something. And this no disrespect to some OGs. OGs. They'll keep it solid. When they young, they be solid. They'll keep it solid and do this. But sometimes, boy, them OGs will tell quicker than young motherfuckers will. And I'm saying that to say this because a young nigga want to show, man, I, I'm a stand-up nigga. I ain't telling nothing. And he'll stand on it. OGs might have been through so much betrayal. By now, they didn't realize the game is a lot of bullshit, smoking mirrors. Still, they're getting that tail. That still don't give you no excuse to tell. These are just the soft motherfuckers. Just because they OGs don't mean they real, y'all. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. Just because they OGs don't mean they real. See, everybody got a certain level of realness. Some niggas think they too real. And he, I ain't going to jail. No, I'm going to tell everything. Fuck that shit, nigga. I just got married, man. I fuck that shit, I'm telling. And nigga, go in there. I'm the same motherfucker. Tell motherfucker, don't tell nothing. Don't talk to the police about nothing on the murder case. Nothing. He got niggas standing on it. Keep it solid. And this bitch catch a case. And he in there singing like Patty LaBelle. And I'm like, I know damn well you ain't talking about G. Niggas like, yes, he is, son. What you want us to do? What? <laughs> Man, listen. Stop his motherfucking ears together. 
You know what I mean? You can stop his lips so he cannot sing anymore, bitch. If you had not been telling these niggas not to talk, <laughs> I'd been like, okay, well, you fold it up, you fold it up. But no, you the advocate. You the nigga don't want nobody to tell. And cool. You don't want nobody to tell, but then you get in there, all oh, the rules can apply to the shorties, but not to you, huh? Uh-huh. Motherfucker get up and right, think they can break the laws. That's why the violations are so severe, y'all. When you are general and you break the rules. Look, you hear me? Say, stomp your ears together. And put your motherfucking head like that. And stomp his ears together. If you can't, try hard as you can. Try hard as you can. Stomp his goddamn ears together. Mm-hmm. That's what you do. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all. Check this out. I, uh... Put that link to the podcast, y'all. We just got the podcast uh, monetized, y'all. So I appreciate that. This one here gonna be monetized. Uh, this probably in about two weeks because I said to send it in, it'll be monetized. So we go clap it up for the subscribers, y'all. We done finally made it. We finna get paid, y'all. We finna get paid. We finna get paid. But look, so I want some of y'all to go over there and just listen to that. You ain't got the uh subscribe if you can afford to subscribe the paid membership. Do that. If not, just watch it. That'll help us too. Because we go get paid either way it go. You feel me? And uh, I just came on here for a minute. But I wanted to tell that little story why I was fresh in my mind. Because me and my guy were just talking about it, y'all. We were just talking about it, man. You feel me? Shit, boy, G. Shrimp, everybody, fake baby, daddy, voice of the street. I'm a punch and I dig you later. I'm out. Now, I wasn't go even come on here, y'all. Because I said... I done gave away so much free shit. It's about time I start getting paid. And I don't need to work until I get paid. But I say I ain't going to do y'all like that. Since y'all be wanting to see the G, man, I said, fuck it. I said, fuck it, man. I'm going to go and drop one for y'all, man. You feel me? What G-Shrimp, everybody, fake baby daddy, watch the street. I'm out.